Okay. So let's see. If that's going in the correct direction. We're going to. That's tightening. There we go. So what are you taking off? We are taking off the upper trailing arm. The upper trailer. Yeah. Why do you ask me that when you know what it is? Because you weren't answering. The upper trailing arm, and then we're going to take the lower off. We've already done the right side of the car. I don't think that's because that's, that's. It's just turning. Let's see what I'm doing. Nope. in from the center of the car the other side and just let it sit on the ground. Get it in there. Oh, you just... Well, gotta get it in there. But you got it on the wrong side. Put it on the other side. From the center of the car. I can't put it in from the yes, center of the can. car. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get on there. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Get the hard way. <laughs> in there. You're gonna have to raise it up to a certain angle. It won't go. <sighs> okay. Out. You get it? Right, so there's what you have. So how do you get that out? I would loosen the other side and then I would use the rubber mallet to tap these out once it's so I would loosen the top one. This one? Yeah. And is then, there something on the other side of this? There's a long bolt. So you can do it from either direction, but but that's a long bolt. It's probably easier to put the the impact or the uh breaker bar on this side and then do that one because there's more room to, to work around.
more than these clothes. You, you worried about getting that <laughs> yellow shirt greasy? Well, here you right now. It's already greasy. Get you the roller bar, but let me see where it is. Okay, there it is. And this is that super long uh, bolt. Yep. Oh, please, something. I'm reading it. Oh, somebody sent a message. We're recording. I have time for a message. Okay, now check your your bolt there because it looks like it's it may be even off. So the breaker bar might fall on you. Nope, it's still on that. Size for the sockets? Uh, 19. 19 millimeters. Oh, Tap the top one out first, just gently, but it'll, it'll it should just pop right out fairly easily. because that's attached to the dips or the axles still down here. You might try tapping this bolt here if you can hit it from this side. Um, You're going to have to move. Yeah, you can't stay there while I do that. There it comes. And then see if it'll pull out. Nope, nope. So what are you using to pull these out? Here, let's, uh, let's... Here I'm gonna raise up. I'm gonna raise up the the axle a little bit, and uh, that might take some uh, pressure off of them. Okay, try them now. Why? Because I don't have any antiseize on those things. No, the, the, the nuts are done. Okay, we'll pause here. See, but there's the old ones. Oh. All right, so um, we got to get the spring and stuff out next, right? Correct. So I have to take the bolts out up top first. Yep. Is that correct? We got to we got to jump. We got to pump up the the diff so that it takes compression off the spring and that and raises that. Then you unscrew that. Then we lower it down and all that stuff all right, will well, practically I'll pump fall. It up. You look through there. Show the peoples what we're doing. I'm assuming they'll be able to see the screw. You tell me when to stop. Mm. Mm. What was that? 
that's a bridge. <laughs> that's Go ahead. funny. I didn't like that noise. Okay, that should be good enough. That good? Should be. All right. And what was this, 13? I believe 13, and then the new one. 13 or 14? It's 13, but the new one was 14. 14? Yeah. tightening okay so it's right it's no you're which way were you going this way yeah that's turning it to the right or I mean that's that's spinning it clockwise which is which is tightening it you have to go counterclockwise to loosen okay. it okay Righty tighty lefty loosey from the twelve o'clock position. Damn. That the whole thing's twisting. Is that supposed to do that? Like the whole thing's turning. Do you see that? No. Okay. Pause. Pause. Because the whole thing's turning. Like the whole thing. And tell me that now, did you? Kids. So, lesson learned, apparently you never loosen anything up with a ratchet. Thanks for telling me. The ratcheting end of the wrench. No one told me that. Thanks. Because, of course, I loosened it. And he gets right over there and goes, Well, there it is. By the way, that's what he sounds like in my head. <laughs> in case y'all wanted to know. Okay. Oh, bejeebas. Come on. Or not grease, but like crap. So it's gonna you're gonna hit threads that are clogged up. It's gonna be tight. Try not to mess up your beautiful paint job. This is true. I haven't painted up there. Assuming we need these. Now I would just toss them into this hole right. This. Did you see that? The hell was it that? went it was the lock washer and it went right into that bowl. I get like it dropped and it hit right into that bowl. Uh, that was amazing. Pull that out because that does not belong there. That washer down there. That all, all that crap goes in this wash, this bowl right here in the trunk. Is there something else that's supposed to come off there? There's a rubber. There's a rubber seal. It looks just like that, and then there's a metal thing underneath it. Oh, there it is. That's the rubber. Damn one. it! Jeez, you're throwing everything everywhere. Shut up, you. Whose show is this? Is that supposed to come off? It will, but I don't know. You might have to wait till the spring drops. Okay, that's not going anywhere. I can't even tell if that's got another lock on there or not, but um, I don't see one. Take that out of there. All right, now. Now you're gonna. We're gonna drop the the diff quite a bit until the spring. Go over there and you can the record spring. that, and then tell me when to stop. Just do it very slowly. See with the light here. All right. Just say when. Keep going. It, it dropped, but that's we want to go. as far as that's going to go. Okay. Because it's not on there anymore. If I let it go any further, it'll be off the diff. Sure, it dropped a little more, see? See? Yeah, it's completely off of it. Okay, let me... The spring let loose a little bit, but not like on the other side, so. Of course not. All right, pause again. Ouch. God damn it. Come on. You can get a pry bar if you have to. We're not clearing that. <coughs> and so we can't drop need, it anymore. So you're going to need a pry bar. 
I guess so, because for whatever reason, we could drop it on that side, but we can't drop it on this side. It dropped like that. I know. Of course it did, because that was the side we didn't record. See, this is what happens. Every time I get down here and try to record what I actually do, Murphy shows up. Now I'm going to have to find some cute little sound effect to cover up all my cussing. Somebody told me I needed to do, like, dolphin chirps. Which I might. We'll see. Yep, manhandle it. Hot on the break out. Almost. Now, careful. Yeah, I can't do that with the camera. Time to pause. Okay, I had to drop the camera because um, it took both of us to um, wedge. Yeah, it took four hands to wedge that out. Again, um, spider eggs. Just so you guys know. So, all that's now out. We're going to drop it over there yay okay so what I'm gonna do now and and I'll have him if he wants to record this he can um, the underside of this the wheel the wheel well um, that looks gross and I spray painted it black on the other side I painted that black and it looks fabulous so while he's cleaning bolts because that's what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna spray paint this I'm gonna cover all that I'm going to clean all this off, clean all the gunk off, and I'm going to spray paint all of this area here and here black because with the yellow body, I thought it would look nicer if this was black and it kind of just fades away where you can't, where you can't see it, really. Um, that's what I wanted. The wheel wells of my car are also black. So that is what we are going to do. Maybe I can pause it. Okay, uh, we're back. So we're doing this in pieces. I'm going to show you the parts we're going to put in, and we're going to have to pause it um, because it's going to take all four of our hands uh, in order to do this. These are the new springs, um, and we need to obviously teach the Germans what the red color means because these are purple, uh, but they were supposed to be red. So I don't know. But anyway, um, these are the back springs. And, Who makes the springs? Uh, they're made in Germany. It says right on there. Vokland. Vokland, yeah. Vokland, whatever, made in Germany. Um, and it actually has, it'll tell you that it's front or rear, uh, and then it has an arrow pointing in which direction the spring is supposed to go. And that's because um, they're progressive. Yep, for all you dummies like me. And then this is the damper. We've got to undo that and uh, slide this actually in the springs, kind of put everything in at the same time. And then it's going to take both of us because this screw, this big long thing right there, you remember you guys saw that poking out of that hole inside the trunk? We gotta make sure that we jack this up enough once we get these in here that that, that bolt goes all the way through. And center it. And center it, so it's gonna take all four of our hands to do that. So, uh, give me a few minutes, we'll be back and we'll show you what's done. All right guys, suspension is done. Painted the wheel well, so that's all black now. And looks really good. There's the new damper and springs. Upper and lower arms. He's put the e-brake back on. Big difference from that, yeah. from that, this right here. And there's the old damper and springs. These are huge, yeah, lower, comparatively speaking. Uh, one and three quarter inches, but those bars, look at the difference in width. Those are oh yeah, the bars are ginormous. They're just huge, so. They look really good. Take you over to the other side. I don't know if you guys got to see the trunk or not. There's the trunk. Braided lines. Those look good. And then we'll go over to the other side. And we've got all that. See, the inside is now black. That looks much better than what it did before. 
upper and lower trailing arms. Spring and damper again. Spring is purple, it is not red. We need to have the German's eyesight checked. I don't know what the deal was that, with that was. All right, it's been a hell of a day. Um, we ended up not recording as much as we wanted to of actually doing that because it took four hands to do what we needed to do and my stand wouldn't reach where we needed it to. He's filthy. I'm not much better. Look, look at his arms. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, there was a lot of cussing involved okay, with this. Oh no, no, no. Show them that arm. Yeah, no, it is that bad. You look like you have freckles. It's ridiculous. It's bad. Go. Uh, yeah, it could be worse. This one's a little worse. It, that one's pretty gross. Elbow. Yeah, definitely. We were elbow deep in it, people. You can take that any way you'd like. Any way you'd like. All right, so that is going to end the back suspension. We still have the sway bar that we're going to um, try to media blast and then paint it red. Well, we got to change out the bushings. They sent the wrong bushings. Oh, okay. Well, there's the pan hard rod. Pan hard filthy, rod. But yep. It'll look spanking red. Well, since yeah. It's sandblasted and the correct bushing. There you go. All right, so we're getting ready to do the install of the back sway bar. Uh, we painted the sway bar, as you know, that's just what we do. Uh, and then these are the brackets, uh, both top and bottom, I guess is what you want to call it. These are the tools that we're going to be using. My drill isn't out, but it's it'll be there here in just a minute. Um, urethane bushings, as always. Uh, this stuff came also from Mark Allison. Yep, and cool. Yep, okay. So... This is kind of, I'm not going to film doing it uh, just because, but we'll kind of give you the befores, durings, and afters. Okay, if you can kind of see that there. A little bit. All right, so now you've got it, got the underneath, so we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so here's where we're at so far. We've got the brackets attached. There and there, there and there. All right, so we're not we're not quite done. And again, I, I don't have, I'm still waiting on my new mount so that I can attach it and show you guys third person, but it isn't here yet. So um, this is where we are so far with the rear sway bar. I say that three times real fast. guys you know the rules uh till i see you next time stay safe stay clean and have a perfect day bye